Western Caribbean, the island of Montserrat. This tiny island is one of the last remaining outposts of the British Empire. It measures just 16.5 kilometers long by 10 wide, almost the size of the city of Dublin. It's a haven for the rich and famous, and home to air recording studios used by rock and pop stars. The island is celebrated for its natural beauty and tranquil, easygoing lifestyle. 80% of the island's infrastructure lies in the shadow of Soufriere Hills, a mountain lying 915 meters above sea level that dominates the southern half of the island. Most of the population of 10 and a half thousand live and work in the capital, Plymouth, or farm the rich, fertile soil on the mountain slopes. On the northern flank lies the village of Farrell's Yard, home to Delia Pond. It is a paradise, and because everybody is so friendly towards one another, we never have a care in the world. I guess we are brought up in a way to accept life for what it is. Delia has lived in Montserrat her entire life and is a mother with six children. She rents a small holding where she grows vegetables to sell on the neighboring islands. David Lee is an American missionary who has lived on Montserrat for 15 years. He's also a keen amateur cameraman and has filmed everything from carnivals to local sporting events. It's off the beaten path. It's the way the Caribbean used to be. The people are genuinely friendly. And we came for a month and checked it out, and it was just like they said, and we, we never left. But beneath this tropical Garden of Eden lies a hidden menace. The lush vegetation and productive soil belies a lethal reality. The island is volcanic. Montserrat sits directly on a geological subduction zone. This is one of the most seismically active parts of the planet's crust. The North Atlantic tectonic plate, moving westward, sinks beneath the Caribbean plate. As it descends, it melts, forming magma, which over millennia finds its way to the Earth's surface, creating a string of volcanic islands known as the Lesser Antilles. But Montserrat has shown no signs of major volcanic activity for approximately 370 years. The only evidence of volcanicity are springs hot enough to boil an egg sprouting from the slopes of Soufriere Hills. Then, on the 18th of July, 1995, everything changes. The islanders hear a deafening noise, similar to the sound of a jet engine coming from the mountain. 